Uh, maybe it's not too big. If it's too big, it'll turn into a black hole. So a neutron star would be uh, the, oh, what, one and a half times the mass of the sun, let's say, something like that. But it would be a radius of 10 miles. So it would easily fit in the LA metropolitan area, right? But it would have the mass of the sun or greater. So that's an atomic nucleus density. That's how you can imagine it. Something as massive as the sun compressed into something 10 miles across. And we see these things all over the, the yeah. universe. Neutron stars are fascinating things. Is it, it possible to create a Big Bang? Or, excuse me, a black hole? Is, that, is it possible, theoretically, um, to have enough power? Like, if you don't have it right now with the Large Hadron Collider, is it possible that a larger machine will be created and human beings can recreate a black hole? Yes. Um, it's possible, yes. and it's possible if you have extra dimensions in the universe, right? So the, the thing is that, so we know, gravity is a very weak force. It's by far the weakest of the four fundamental forces of nature. B billions and billions of times weaker than the other ones, which you can tell because you can pick up, you know, a phone, even though the planet, planet Earth is trying to stop me doing that, and I can just resist the pull of planet Earth. So gravity is very weak. So that gives you a clue that you can say, well, what energy, how far do I have to go back in time, if you like? In, towards the Big Bang before it's so hot that, the, that gravity is as strong as the other forces. The strength of the forces varies, I should say, with, with, with energy. So they change. So the, and we've seen this behavior. So, so two of the forces, so-called electromagnetism, which is the most familiar one, electricity, that one, uh, and the weak nuclear force, which is one of the forces that operates in the atomic nucleus, they are the same force. They're manifestations of the same force. And we've seen this experimentally. And in fact, the Higgs boson is part of that process.